Hey everybody, welcome back to another painting tutorial on Tabletop Anarchy. Today it is time for the Spitfires from Blood Red Skies. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial and I hope this helps. Once your model is ready to paint, it's time to put a quick primer on it. For this, I just used a light gray. The first paint you want to use is Brain Matter Beige from Army Painter. Being such a light color paint, it did take two or three coats to cover fully. So the best thing to do is add a few drops of water to stop it pooling in the recesses with uh, multiple coats. This color you want to apply to the entire underside of the Spitfire. Once the Brain Matter Beige has dried, you should be left with something looking like this. And obviously on the top side, there shouldn't be any color on there. The next color you wanna get is Leather Brown. This color you wanna apply now to the entire top side of your Spitfire. As always, thin it with a few drops of water, but generally it covered in one coat, which was good. Um, take it extra steady when you match the beige up to the brown, because you don't wanna get your beige back out and try and touch up over the brown. So just take your time. Uh, a reference photo is always good to have if you've got one, just to make sure the lines are right and stuff. But once you've done that, the uh, it's time to move on to the next step. It's now time to start applying some camouflage to your Spitfire. For that, I used Army Green. Get yourself a thin brush I found was best and start to draw the outline of your camouflage. Once you're happy with the overall pan, you can start filling the insides with the green. I did have a reference photo, followed it as best I could, but I don't think during the war, any Spitfire had the same camouflage to another one. I think it's pretty much, as long as it there's an even distribution of colors. I don't think it matters too much. And then obviously once the outside lines have been painted, then you can start filling the insides of the, uh, the green. I used two coats of thin paint, um, but once that's finished, I think the results look pretty good. It's now time to paint the canopy, and for mine, I use Griffin Blue. It's very much down to personal preference with canopies, so if you've got your own preferences, now is the time to do it. Um, but I thought the darker blue looked pretty good with the uh, green and brown. The last paint you want to use is Necromancer Cloak and for that I just did the nose cone and the exhaust. It's now time to apply the decals to your model. 
Um, I got mine again off eBay for about £3.50, but the Warlord ones have now turned up, so in the future tutorials I will be using the Warlord ones, so we'll get to see what they're like. I won't show you how I applied the decals in this tutorial, if you want to see that, go back and watch the Mitsubishi Zero one, I go into a lot more detail. Um, and at some point I will do a tutorial on just applying decals for those people out there who are a little unsure or need advice or help. Um, but once you've finished, make sure you put a matte coat over the top just to seal them decals in. And then once that's dry, it's ready to move on to the next step. It's now the final step of the tutorial and that is to apply a quick wash. For that I used Army Painters uh, Quick Shade Dark Tone and their Mixing Medium. Unlike the previous tutorials, I have made it a little bit darker, being the brown and the green, it isn't as overpowering, so I've done that a 50-50 mix. Did it with one coat, um, let it dry, and then once that is dry, the tutorial is now finished. That wraps up the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. There are two more nations for Blood Red Skies that I will be covering and they are the Russian Yaks and the German 109s. Um, so if they are your nation, stay tuned for those. If there's any questions or any tutorials you want me to cover, stick it in the comments below and I'll try my best to do that. Um, but as always, if you like the video, like it. If you like the channel, subscribe. And we hope to see you in the war room soon.